Jackson takes it across the 30-yard line up to about the 33. Todd Allen beats him there. Let's get on to Greg now and check in on Pierre. What's the latest, Greg? I saw on Scott. I can tell you that he suffered a pinched nerve in his left shoulder. They say he's going to be okay. They're going to put him back in the ball game. Nothing serious. Good news indeed for the Mustangs. As we said, he's the club's leading tackler this year. And Aldine with yet another first down in this series. First and 10 from the 33. This time Womack gives it to the fullback. Hobson. And about four on the play. Steve Womack. Had that hard hit you might have heard about last week against Marshall. He just decked the Marshall quarterback last week. He put the shot they said was hurt throughout Texas. I don't know if it was that uh, impressive, but uh, it's been talked about all week in both locker rooms. Second and six now. Option again. And just short of the 45 where Lloyd Hill meets him and brings him down. Close to a first down. We'll wait and see what they mark it. And there's the man that calls the shots for Mojo Magic. The head coach, Gary Gaines, looking for his first ever state title. Was a member of the Odessa Permian team back in 1980 when they won the title, but he was an assistant coach then. Today he calls all the shots. First and ten. Derek Johnson on the pitch from Womack. Nothing doing. Kevin Manning right there to make it happen. As the third quarter of play winds down. And the Mustangs seem to be getting untrapped. They won't get the play off. That's the end of the third quarter of play with the Panthers leading 21-7 over the Mustangs. We'll be right back after this message from your local station. Welcome back to Texas Stadium. Scott Murray along with Drew Pearson. And the fourth quarter is just underway. Live action, you see Herman Hobson up after a gain of about 10 yards. So it brings up another first down situation for the Mustangs. Here's a replay of the play. See the execution, Scott, and that's what they got to do. There's still a lot of time. They can go down and score here. We got a football game. But I'm sure the basketball coach at Aldean will be anxious to have Doug Womack finish with his football season this year. He's the, uh, the standout basketball player down at the school, too. So uh, he's a important and impressive athlete. Two sport man and then plays a lot of basketball down there, and apparently it's the leading scorer and the big gun. So he'll be happy to see him finish up his football season. Here's a look at our third quarter stats. Fairly even except in the rushing department. And you see Aldean coming on late in the quarter and uh, really kind of turning things around. Scored their first touchdown of the ball game in the third quarter and now have another drive going. Can hold it within seven. First and 10. 11.41 to be played in the ball game. Odessa Permian leads it 21-7. Womack keeps it. And boy, he hit hard. How do you do? Doug Womack. <laughs> no relation, but boy, a Womack beat on that. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Steve Womack was waiting for that option on that play, Scott. You see Doug Womack coming down. He almost fumbles again, but he's met. Hello, Mr. Womack. Meet Mr. Womack. <laughs> Second and ten. Just inside the 45-yard line. This time, he lets it go. Gets it to Hobson, and he's got all kinds of room inside before he's finally brought down by Kevin Manning. But not before he picked up about 20 yards. They'll spot the ball at the 27 of Permian. And yet another first down for Aldi. Got what we have a case of. Looks like Odessa Permian really working to the outside, trying to prevent the option being run outside. But what it's doing is opening up the middle. And that's where Aldean has to attack right now. Inside the tackles. That's where the holes are. Womack keeps it. Got the room inside the 20. And then he's met by a bunch of guys. Womack, Garrett, and Seeley. They're all there to cover up. When Permian makes the adjustment to stop that inside attack, that's when the outside game will take effect as we look at Doug Womack's stats, so rushing stats so far. Just about five yards a carry. Not bad at all. 
second and one. Womack hands it off. Hobson, the fullback. And Herman's inside the 15. Lloyd Hill, who's had his share of tackles this afternoon on the stop for the Panthers. As we again update you in our Texas Sports Legends poll, just cost a dollar to give us a call. The number on your screen, 1-900-258-4400. And Tom Landry, still with a very comfortable lead. First and 10 from the 13. Holding in their first ever state championship game. Trying to pull to within seven and boy, a cheap pop by Lloyd Hill. Looks like Lo a Womack's going somewhere. Watch Lloyd Hill. Woo. And he's a wide receiver. I've never seen a wide receiver hit like that. Wait both <laughs> ways. There it is again. This is a big league hit. That is a big league hit. And nice that's job by Womack to hold on to the football. <laughs> it sure was. And that's why he's an All-American. Lloyd Hill. He gets it to Hobson. Touchdown. Holding. Thirteen left of the ball game. Balled in with a chance to pull it within seven. Richard Elder to attempt the extra point. High snap. It's up and it's good. <laughs> Not by much, but they don't show that in the papers the next morning. Twenty-one fourteen, and Aldine has pulled it within seven. With a lesser Permian on top by seven, we'll be right back. Scott Aldine is on to something here. They've been running to their left side, the defensive right side, and they've been able to have a lot of success there. You see the, the blocking up front, a nice hole by, for Herman Hobson. He breaks a tackle, breaks two tackles, and falls into the end zone. Again, they've been able to run on the inside of the defense. And now Odessa Permian is going to have to make some adjustments, and that will probably open up the option to the outside. But Odessa Permian, the momentum definitely has to shift back to Aldean, to, to the Aldean Mustang, Scott. As a result, Aldean scoring for the second time this afternoon. It took them five minutes and ten seconds. They went 97 yards. They were way back in their own three-yard line, 13 plays, but they capitalized when Hobson took it in. And as a result, they pulled it within seven. And Mojo Magic suddenly being questioned here. That was an excellent drive. We talked about 97 yards, 13 plays. Excellent execution. You see Herman Hobson, he's well over 100 yards, and that's nothing new for him. Well, that makes him a 1,000-yard rusher this season, Scott, so they have three backs in their backfield that have rushed for over 1,000 yards this year. Hobson, Johnson, and Womack, the quarterback, who we said has close to 2,000 yards. Last week, though, and we alluded to this earlier, Hobson, seven-yard average and 144 yards on the ground, and he's pretty close to that right now. First set for the kickoff with 9.13 left. Aldean kicking off to Odessa Permian. Permian with the upper hand right now, leads it by seven, and Bia takes it at the 20, 25, 30, across to about the 32-yard line before he is hit by a bunch of blue jerseys. Today's 5A championship coverage is made possible by the University of Texas in Austin on behalf of the University Interscholastic League and TVG Sports. Any rebroadcast or videotape reproduction of this telecast without the written consent of the University Interscholastic League or TVG Sports is prohibited. 907, first and 10. Odessa Permian with the ball and a seven point lead from their own 32 yard line. Double setbacks. Comer and Villa. Kate pitches back. It's Comer with the ball up close to the 40 yard line. Gary Martin's on the stop. God, I would think this is a big offensive series for Permian as well as a big defensive series for the Mustangs from Aldi. Whoever
Dallas can establish something here. Might win this football game. 840 and counting. Second and three from the 39. Johnny Case pitches back this time to Villa. Arve Villa across the 40 up to about the 45. Maybe the 46. And again, it's Martins on the stop for the Mustangs. Boy, if you look at R.V. Villa, he's not that impressive. He's only 5'7", 154 pounds. But look at him pick his way through this hole here. He knows how to run that football. Nice job, R.V. Average yards and first down, dead even. 8.2. From the 46, first and 10 for the Panthers. Stoney Case with a long count, pitches it back to Comer. Around the left side, he's got some room across midfield, up to about the 40-yard line. Carl Heathman finally makes the stop, but not before he picks up 10 and then some. First down, Permian. God, what amazes me about Permian is they do what they have to do. When they have their back to the wall, they seem like they've been able to get it together. The one way to get it together is to get the ball to that guy, Chris Comer. Look at that. Nice hold. He doesn't need much room, and he's got good speed to work in that secondary. This is exactly what Permian coach Gary Gaines was looking to do. Aldine had come back, pulled it within seven. They had to sock it back the other way to the Mustangs, and thus far they've done that. Comer, a gain of maybe two. Chris Allen on the stop, the first man to hit him. They mark it on the 37, so we'll call it second and seven. Seven minutes exactly left in tonight's ball game. Leia again across the 35, trying to find some running room on the near side, close to the 30. Gary Martins. A little 5'9", 150 pound junior. Not big on size, but with a huge heart. And he certainly comes up and covers up again. Well, Scott, looks like this play goes nowhere. But again, Avia, Arve Avia is able to find his way and make something out of it. Create a third and one situation. Third and one it is. 624 in counting. Final quarter of play. Permian leads it by seven. Stoney Case has gone all the way at quarterback. Again, a long count as Bia in motion, and they give to Comer. It'll be close. Marcus Allen on the stop. It's got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll see if we heard that name. I've, I've heard that before, name someplace huh? before. <laughs> Marcus Allen. Good play. Looks like they have a good do a good job defensively to stop it, but it looks like they fall forward enough to get the first down. They still haven't gave given a signal yet they're going to measure out comes the chain gang with the clock stopped at 608 first down Odessa Permian state champion 65 72 80 Beaumont French and Odessa Permian shared the title in 1984 and in 1986, Gary Gaines took over as head coach. That's the only year they have missed the playoffs this decade, even though they finished a very respective 7-2. They've lost in the semis the last two years. They're here in the final to try and make it a shot, give it a shot to win the title this year. First and 10 from the 30. Case pitches back to Coleman. Left side. Gain of maybe three or four. And again, it's Marcus Allen, number 98, the first man to hit him. Scott, this is a state championship drive right here. You see Odessa Permian reacting to the challenge. Marcus Allen sticks his head in, but too late. Get five or six yards on the plus. Billy Smith trying to figure out defensively how he can put the stops to the Odessa Permian. Mojo Magic is underway right now. They've gone all the way down the field. After Aldine had pulled it within seven. In 
side, five minutes to go. Homer again, the ball carrier, around the near side. As the Mustangs try to cut down the angle, Reggie Davis makes the first hit. Runs him out of bounds. Clock is stopped with 4.53. Look like they have Comer defense on this play, but watch how he makes tacklers miss him. Watch him step out of this tackle coming up right there. Steps right over and gets some extra yards, goes out of bounds. You know, the key to this whole drive, they gave the ball back to Odessa Permian with like seven and a half minutes left, close to eight minutes. And they've taken a good three minutes, well over three minutes off the clock. So the ally of time suddenly on the side of Odessa Permian is Comer. He up some more time and picks up some more yardage before he's met by Marcus Allen. And that will be another first down for the Panthers. First and ten from the 16. in motion. Comer gets the ball. And maybe a yard. Leopa Children, a name that we haven't had an opportunity to say too much this afternoon. On the stop, as we check the stats, and Chris Comer, 173 yards. Yeoman tight end, close wow. to five yards of carry. Very impressive. Case will pass. He's got a man in the end zone. Touchdown, Odessa Permian. Mike Faulkner. point attempt and it's back to a 14 point margin. Stoney Case has passed for close to 2,000 yards all year. The entire drive down this middle stand of the fourth quarter we don't see him put the ball in the air once. They rush it all the way down through and then uh, <laughs> when they wanted all the marbles into the air for about a 15 yard touchdown pass. 28 to 14 is how we stand. And we'll be back with more high school football, Texas Stadium, after this brief timeout. You see there, they've run the ball down. It was Chris Homer, RVB, carrying it all the way. But Mike Faulkner is able to find an opening in the end zone. He does a juggly act, but he's able to hold on. Mike Faulkner did not practice all week. He had a knee injury from last week's game against Marshall. He also scored a touchdown in that game. He also scored one against Lamar. And he has one again today. And against it's Aldine. It's a great catch. Stony Case is now 7 out of 10. Interesting, interesting, interesting thing about Mike Faulkner is that he's caught eight passes and six have been for touchdowns this year. He's only a junior too, Drew, so he'll be back next year. Permian Panthers with an 11 drive scoring drive, 11 play scoring drive. Don't forget when visiting Dallas, business and leisure travelers alike choose the comfort and the convenience of Radisson Hotel 7. If you'd like more information and possible reservations, simply call 1-800-333-3333. Malcolm Hamilton, ready to kick off. There's well, Jessica Permian puts a big seven more points between themselves and the Aldi Mustangs. 3.48 left in today's ball game. Picked up at the 7. 10. This is Cook across the 15 to the 20 up to about the 22.
score quickly and then score quickly again with 340 left. Well, Scott, we know they don't like to throw the football, but I think they have to throw it in this situation. Well, it'll be interesting to see what head coach Bill Smith does. 15th year, ninth time of the playoffs. Has missed but once. That in 1986 here in the decade of the 80s. And we've got a flag in the field. Roderick Jordan, I do believe, was the man, number 78. Jumping a little prematurely. So it'll be first in 15 uh, for the Mustangs. And they go with what got them here. Womack on the keeper. Not only does that keep them from picking up Big yards in one fell swoop, but it uses up much needed time of the clock. The clock working against them right now, down to 320 and counting. It's second down and 11. Gain of four on that last play. Gives it to Hobson, and he's across the 30. Kiewikowski on the stop. right into Odessa Permian's hands. They'll let him run this ball all day. Well, at least, at least the last two minutes and 48 seconds anyway, if they want to. Hobson again up to about the 40, but again, precious seconds ticking off the clock. And they have three timeouts left. They're not even using them uh, in this situation. Clock stops while they move the chains, and now it's shorted again, 235 and counting. Odessa Permian Panthers looking for their third state title here in the decade of the 1980s. Winners in 1980 outright. Shared it with Beaumont French in 84, and looking for a win here as they close out the decade in 89. Pass batted down by Jeff Garrett. And we say hello to our MVP, number 45. You've seen plenty of him this afternoon. On behalf of Pepsi-Cola, a check for $500 will be made in the name of Chris Comer of Permian High School. What an impressive show he put on here at Texas Stadium this afternoon. Hobson again, but it's academic at this point into the line for two or three yards. That's not going to do it. Williams and Kwiatkowski on the stop. As we wind down towards the two-minute mark. No two-minute warning in high school football. They just keep it rolling. And for one of the few times this afternoon, we see Womack go to the air. Johnson saying, come on, give me the ball. I got all kinds of room out here. But when things are going bad, things are going bad. That does stop the clock, though, with 152 left. And brings up a fourth down situation as well. So fourth and seven, no doubt they have no choice but to go for it. Womack takes a look, pitches back. Johnson tries to get across the 45, and a couple of players does so, but he's still short of the first down marker. And so, Odessa Permian will take over. And we will crown a new State 5A champion in just a couple of minutes. Just a couple of years ago, they were a loser in the semifinals. Last year, they were a loser in the semifinals. And both times, to the eventual state champion two years ago. It was Plano High School, the Metroplex. Last year, it was Carter High School. And this year, it will be Odessa Permian. First and 10 from the 46. Sony Gitt takes on the give to our MVP of today's ball game, number 45, Chris Comer. And he 
simply adds to his impressive totals already garnered this afternoon. Stop is made by Steve Strahan. A long day indeed for that gentleman. Bill Smith, his first trip ever to the state championship final, but certainly not a thing whatsoever to be achieved of. After that convincing win over top-ranked Judson just a week ago, many expected big things in this ball game from Pinaldi. And we've got a fumble on the play, but it looks as though Permian has still retained possession. Doesn't matter what happens, I guess. Yeah, not, I mean, looking for uh, toss it up in the air. He's looking for a break, and they almost had one there. But again, Permian's uh, Johnny on the spot, making the recovery. Orlean is taking a timeout. 39 seconds left in today's ball game. Third and 18 to go. They give it to Zia, Arthur Zia. And he comes up way short. Cornelius Pierre, who was injured earlier in the ball game, on the stop. And so Odessa Permian is forced to punt. But with only 31 seconds left, unless the Mustangs have some miracles of their own, this one is over. We're going to take another quick timeout. We'll be right back with Odessa on top by 14. We'll return. Pesicola for giving us the opportunity to be involved and we know that he's going to be a good recipient and we appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. It's a great year for high school football. We thank, we thank Pepsi very much. Tremendous year and we're looking forward to further involvement in the future. We really are. All right, thank you very much. Thank the you. most valuable player, Chris Comer of the Permian Panthers. Scott? All right, Skip, thank you much. We get back up to the booth with 24 seconds left. Sounded as though uh, Emo wasn't sure if he liked our choice or not. <laughs> I tell you, if there's a, a better MVP, let me know, because this guy has been the reason, because they wanted to control the ball, and he's been the reason uh, they've been able to control it on the ground. That was the entire key. It looks as though Tom Landry will win this afternoon's Texas Sports Legends Poll with time winding down. He's in first place, Tom, uh, Earl Campbell second, Dope Walker, the former Heisman winner from SMU third, and then Doug English. It's up for grabs and nobody's going to get it. Don't forget a sizable contribution to the homeless at this holiday time of the year, this festive season. As you heard the crowd from the west side of the field, predominantly made up of folks from West Texas. Who have spent a long time on the road the last 24 hours to be here and support their guys in the black and white this afternoon. Odessa